God created marriage as an integral part of his plan to prosper his world and to bless mankind. See, marriage was the first entity that God established on earth. He created Adam and Eve and he blessed their union. And in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 24, it says that, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This was the original marriage vows. And it covers everything a husband and wife is. They are one. Yes, marriage is about oneness. A matter of fact, marriage is referred to as the oneness covenant. When people get married and they say their wedding vows, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, unto death do us part. They are exchanging their vows and their pledge to each other. Now, Genesis chapter 2 and verse 24 covers all of what I just said. Marriage takes two individual entity and bring them together as one. When something is brought together or when it is fused together, when it is bond together, you cannot tell the beginning from the end or the end from the beginning. I want you to think about a ring. A matter of fact, let's talk about it. I want you to think about this wedding band for a moment. This is my wedding band, right? Think about this ring. There is many different metal come together to make this ring. A little bit of iron, silver, copper, brass, or whatever else they used to make this wedding band, right? All of those materials that they used were separate entity. They were not all together at first. They were all separate. Now the jeweler take all those materials, break them down into a liquid form, right? After he break it down, right? They all come together as one to create this ring. In this ring, you will find all those components that I mentioned, but you can't see them separately. You, you, you can't. They are all bond together. They are now one entity. See, that's what happens in a marriage. Two people coming together as one. Two entity come together to create oneness. See, that's why divorce is so painful. See, divorce is the ripping and the tearing, the destroying of something that God intended to last forever. If you take this ring, if you take this ring and you bring it to a jeweler and you ask the jeweler to separate the silver, the gold, the brass, and the iron separately, all different entity, it is impossible for him to do that. It cannot be done. What is done cannot be undone. That's why marriage is so important. That's why the entity, the unity of marriage is so phenomenal. Nothing else can, you cannot fathom anything like it. And that is the reason why divorce is so painful, guys. You cannot get a divorce without hurting yourself and your spouse. You cannot try to destroy your spouse without destroying yourself. Because the two of you are now one. A part of you die when you get a divorce. Remember that you are one entity. And that is why when you go through a divorce, you have to go through the healing process, the recovery process after it happens. It's very painful. The Bible says in Mark chapter 10 and verse 9, that therefore who God has joined together, let no man separate. The separating, the ripping, the tearing, it is very destructive. It is very painful. And that's why marriage is such an honorable thing when you work and you build your relationships together. So God had a perfect plan for marriage. His desire was, number one, to visualize the relationship between Christ and his bride, the church. Number two, to meet men and women need for love, intimacy, affection, sexual connection in marriage. And number three, to populate earth with godly offspring. Those offspring is a reflection of his image. See, marriage is a reflection of God's love for man and Christ's love for the church. No other entity in the body of Christ does that. No other entity embodied and demonstrate that kind of love that God has for man and Christ has for the church like a marriage. That's how important marriage is, guys.
See, because marriage is such a critical part of God's purpose, because marriage is such a part of God's mission of redeeming the world, Satan has made its destruction a priority. Satan did not have a problem when Adam was alone by himself. He had no problem when Adam and Eve were together as companion. He had a problem when they got into a marriage. He had a problem when they come together as one. His strategy is to undermine the importance of marriage, minimize the effect divorce will have on the family, and seduce people to embrace an alternate lifestyle. It was all a part of Satan's plan to destroy the unity of marriage. Because God loves us so much, he has provided clear instruction on how married couples can experience oneness and fulfill his vision in their union by means of his empowering Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit within us, and the gospel of grace. He has provided not only the means needed to love and serve each other in marriage, but also the forgiveness and healing needed when you go through challenges and circumstances that you didn't see coming in your marriage, situation that try to tear your marriage apart. No marriage can work without love and forgiveness. I mean, no marriage can work without it. Love and forgiveness are the constant theme in our salvation with Christ Jesus, right? And it is also a constant theme in marriage. Marriage is not just about the two of you. Marriage is also about God. And you know what's crazy, my friend, as I'm, you know, talking about this? I was just thinking that in this video, I kind of cover the benefit of marriage and the purpose of marriage in one nutshell. That's how amazing God is. That here it is that I'm teaching a video about, you know, why God created marriage. And at the same time, I'm giving you some nuggets as to the benefits of marriage and the, the, the purpose of marriage at the same token. Well, my friends, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think, what you like best about the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Love to hear from you. If this video helped, please give it a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that when we upload a video, you don't miss it. May God continue to bless you. Thank you for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.